Hello everybody, welcome back to some more of our Imperator Worm <laughs> Rurb, uh, Getsia series here. Just taking a look at the world before the episode starts. Looks about the same over in this part of the world, I think. Kush maybe got a little bigger, or Egypt did? One of those two. Carthage, I don't think has spread anymore. Everything seems to be about the same in the UK, I'm not entirely sure. And then, uh, looks like we do have one kind of big clan up in the north of Chalcia. Congrats to Chalcia. Rome has taken a little more territory, I believe, up here in the north. And then, of course, we got our allies, quote-unquote, Saldensia, just they're spreading out like mad, really. Which is very frustrating to me, because I want to take over all these territories. But now we have to go through our ally, and now we're trying to raise up our alliance with Mac uh, Macedon. Because I want them to help me take out Saldensia. I don't know if Thrace is going to be big enough on their own. But we are going to be starting a war over here against these small countries in the meantime because we can take them out pretty easily. We have done a more of a focus towards citizens to try and get more research. We still do need to kind of change more people into, into um, citizens, but we have run out of our oratory power, unfortunately. I think we should be able to declare war. There we go. This should be a pretty easy one. I suppose we can invite Saldensia, maybe get them weaker a little bit. Thrace... I mean, it doesn't hurt, I guess. So sure. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, has honored the military alliance. Okay, I thought maybe this was a message saying that, yo, they, uh, they're not coming. And I would have been very upset. Let's march forward. Should be a pretty easy fight for us. You will come up here. 19,000 troops over here may be a bit much. Let's, uh, let's pull half of these out. Don't think we need that many. We will probably march you up here. We got our garrison forces there. Let's switch to the diplomacy map mode just to make this easier to see. We got our new war chief, or clan chief, San Ziana. Another terrible military commander. Fantastic. I love terrible military commanders. Where is, um, where are we at? Oh no, that's us right there. Oh man, I am messing up. Gosh darn it, we need to get our own guy out of there. Let the chiefs do this, what am I doing? You go over here. Also, uh, you go over here. We do have a new invention, but we don't want to take professional sailors, because why would we? Ooh, okay, 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 hold on. Um, you are still going to retreat, because we have more than enough troops for this. Go all the way back there. Um... I'll tell you what, for right now, we're going to play it safe. And just buy time for our allies to get up to the front lines. We're not in a huge hurry here. We are still taking down aggressive expansion. So yeah, we're, we're kind of doing okay here. We just don't want this war host or this war host to suffer any attrition. Because that's what's going to be pulling from our manpower. And we have 56,000 manpower available at max. We definitely want that before our war against Saldensia. Because they're going to be, I think, pretty strong. So yeah, let's just buy our time. It's going to be fine. Our allies are coming in. You're suffering attrition, but that doesn't necessarily matter too much. And then what else can we do? We should be coming up to another military tactic here soon. Well, I want... Ooh, ooh. What's that? That was. And now you're being replaced. So was that you? Oh my goodness. I can't afford this army. This sucks. This is terrible. Uh, well, at least our allies are getting up here now, so that's something. But, like, I hate all these clan chiefs just continuously dying now. They raise up their hosts, and then they die. Martial advance uh, level two. So, morale of armies and navies, but their cost does go up. Militia tradition cost goes down by 25%, which probably means we can grab one now. 
Almost. Almost. I wonder if we just don't grab a military tradition and just wait for us to level up some more so that it just keeps getting cheaper. Hmm. I don't know. From one clan to another. This is about moving between. Gain three centralization. We're already at 100. We would lose some money, lose some civic power. Some people gain loyalty. Lose three centralization. Our magistrate gains 10 loyalty, but the chief would lose. So I think we want to, we want to keep the clan chiefs as high as possible. I don't care necessarily about our magistrate. But we would also lose money, and this wouldn't give us anything because we're at 100. Hmm. We'll do this one. I just don't want to waste the money and the civic power right now. If anyone wants to, you can uh, feel free to attach. I won't stop you. Oh, you know what? Actually, we should be we should be bringing you out of there so you can recruit your damn retinues. That's what we should be doing. We'll put you in here and try and assist with the uh, capture of the city. Hello. I'm just going to let our allies do this. Let Saldensia take the brunt of this. If they're going to fight for us, then fight for us. We're going to sit back and just watch the world burn from the safety of our uh, lands. What is up with you? Why are you not recruiting any more than just one? Is that all you get? Oh. Vegetables, I am okay with. You can have them. <sighs> we may have to suffer some attrition here. Move up there. You move there. Alright. I guess... We'll oh, hold up. We have barbarians coming up. Um, after the death of the Tuzi Papyrus, the clan chiefs of Getia met to elect a fierce and strong leader to shepherd our... Oh. Well, turn, turn, turn. You saw us through a lot there, Papyrus. Hoping to see themselves with someone more familiar at the head of the table, we must work towards mending rifts and bring together all chiefs for the goodwill of Getia. Every clan chief of ruler culture, Getian, loses 10 loyalty? So who's re. So, Oriza, so you are now the tribal chief. Ah, oh, you suck with military. Okay. Okay. Well. Now we have this army out here that's not going to be doing anything. So I guess we just put our new tribal chief in here, right? I guess we don't necessarily have to. It's just I was doing Tribal Chief last time because they were good at Marshall and who cares if they would get, uh, have some loyalty to our Clan Chief, Tribal Chief. But like right now, our current Chief, Oriza, is a terrible military commander. Also, we only have three Clan Chiefs now. Hmm. Hmm. We may just have to risk people getting loyal, like, we still need this army, so... And we need a good military commander somewhere, so Duras Dromichatus. Seven popularity, ten corruption, though. You are nefarious. Is that... hmm... That's fine. I think. Hopefully it will be. So there we go. You are now leading those armies. We're going to start sieging down this. We do have those barbarians, but they are being chased, so our allies are going to take care of that. I love this, having all these allies. This is fantastic. Alright, also we got new inventions. Fort defense. Military tradition cost minus 10%. Grab this. Siege engineers plus one. Yes. Fort defense? I mean, we don't even have any fortresses. We'll save the points. Because we're about to get more advancements. This is fantastic. Just sitting back and watching our allies do all the hard work for... There we go. Country civilization level plus 2%. Thank you. What do we got? Change governor policy cost minus 20%. Hmm. Okay. 
Hold Triumph. That's a special ability we can use for people who are lowering in loyalty. And then monthly loyalty. Yes. Even if it's 0 0.01. Yes. All the way. So we're losing 296 men to attrition this month because of this fortress that we are assaulting. It is a fort level 2, so really all we need here are just a few thousand troops. Let's just put this in half to suffer a little less attrition. No point in suffering more. Manpower is a big deal, and we don't have too much of it. And we're going to want to do more wars after this. Hopefully our allies continue to march into their land. The city of Sincia. Sin there we go. Sincia. I... Actually, I think I talked about making a fortress here in the future wars against... I think that was against Tribali, though. Tribalia. Hmm. I mean, it's not a bad place. Because with this location right here, it would block advancements through this area. They can only get up to the river, and they can't get around the fortress here unless they go through Thrace somehow. Or also up through here, of course. That's not a bad spot, and it's going to be for free. Obviously, we have to pay for its upkeep, though. But what we can do, because we don't care about it right now, we can actually lower the fort maintenance after it's built. Wait a minute. Why is that not highlighted? We have a fortress here. Does it not cost us anything? Oh, I didn't read the whole thing. I guess that's free? It's just a free, maintenance free one too? Wow, okay. Okay. Well, that's, okay, why would you ever say no to that then? Oh, Jesus. Hey, um, are you a new travel chieftain? There we go. So now we got our four back again. So we've got pretty much three fresh chiefs here. You are currently CG. Alright, you go assist with the siege. You go assist with the siege. We're going to pull our troops out. Is skirmishing still what we want to do here? Plus 25%, uh, 54% effectiveness. I mean, I guess it's our highest effectiveness, right? We'll send our main army up here. But it looks like our allies are going to be able to take care of this. I think that's where they're marching as well. So never mind. We're good. We are good. Oh, who are we fighting over here? Oh, they're retreating into there? Nice. Well, we should get a stack wipe. Perfect. Allies still going great over there. Thrace doing some work. And again, yeah, we just sit back. Now, we could spend some money on some other buildings. I do like the idea of keeping some banked in case of a bad event or something. This retinue is terrible. We kind of rely on our retinues, so we need them to be... I think that's going to be okay. Uh, we need them to be high. Though, with centralization, we have lowered them. Okay with that. So we could grant oh military colonies. A time-honored way of ensuring that loyal troops were available and justly rewarded. Plots of lands were granted to native Greek soldiers known as Kleorux in return for their service in the military. I don't know what this does. I have no idea what military colonies are. Enables the military colonies ability. So how do we activate that? There we go. Uh, Getia can't afford 2,021 military power. 
It would have the following effects. Getia pays 2,000 manpower. First Utidava retinue becomes loyal to Duras. A Getian freeman appears in Inatius. Province of Zargadava loses 15 loyalty. I see. So, military colonies is a way to expand or spend your manpower to get citizens. Or, well, freemans. People. To get populations. That's the word I'm looking for. Population. At the cost of loyalty, which will rise, hopefully. And man, interesting. So, that's what that does. Sorry, I'm just sitting here thinking about it. Well, we don't want to do it right now. This seems like an ability we'd want to do when we have maximum manpower. We're not at wars. This would be a very good thing to do. But we're not near that yet. Huh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can one of my allies just... This is the only option available because your ruler has the greedy traits. Huh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Alright. Make a new army. Get in there. Civic advances. National commerce income. Monthly wages for characters goes down. So we get more inventions. So we only got 176 points right now. National tribes from output plus 5%. Probably still what we want to do. Ooh, wrong culture happiness plus 5%. Let's do the National Tribes and we still have a lot of them. Forty-two mint a month. That's not bad. I'm just being super, super cautious about manpower. It's just it doesn't seem like you get a lot in this game. At least we don't have them because we don't have a lot of freemen. So I feel like it's super precious. There we go. Let the looting be gentle. And get my troops out of there. So with that, the war is basically done. I guess we can march our chiefs over here and assist with the final obliteration of their army. We're capping that for free. Aggressive expansion down to 0.51. When does our new omen come up? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. We are no longer importing grain. From Roxelania? Okay. Well, what else do we want to grab then? We could grab more grain. Got stone. Eh, probably just more grain again. Just keep stacking this bonus up. Like, cause do we need the Freeman happiness? In our cap well, <laughs> they're not exactly happy, but it's not negatively impacting our province, I don't think. Taxes? So many choices. Let's grab some wood. We'll grab it from... From ourself would earn us more money. But also pull away... No, I think it's better if we do this. Because this way we earn... I think we'll earn more. Because we'll get 0.2 from trading to a different faction. And it leaves that surplus of wood available for someone else to get it from us, which, which would then give us like 0.53 on top of that. So let's do it that way. 
We have been insulted by Saldincia. Is that right? Well, it looks like we're probably going to be ending our friendship here soon. We've been insulted by Thrace. I wonder if they're insulting us because we haven't actively destroyed any enemy armies in this war. Probably. Hmm. Yeah. That seems good. Okay, well, now I know that we should definitely fight in these wars. Let's have you go get your troop power back. It's a lot of troops. You know what? I mean, they've already insulted us. Let's just go get our troops back up. All right, invention. Hmm. Hmm, that would have been nice. Ruler popularity gain. Okay. It's important for our ruler to be popular. I will accept. So, does that mean that they hate us now? With these insults? Eh, we still kind of hate like each other. Friends across the border, so this would be for Jabalia. We would lose money, they would gain opinion of us. The apothecary would lose loyalty. I don't care about their opinion, and I want my money. So the answer is no. So she's getting her troops back up, and then we'll move them all in there and try and fight them if they're still around. That's good to know, though. I'm pretty sure they built insult us because of our lack of military engagements in this war. I like that that's in there. So that may, you know, have the player actually do something in these wars instead of what I... Oh, God. 22,000 barbarians? Jesus. What kind of messed up... They will get a river crossing penalty, though. Oh, wait, we're already here. Never mind. The people that we need to force march would be... Like you. And then we need to force march you. So they're gonna get a river crossing penalty, a forest penalty. And they are running shock action. So we're waiting for that. There we go. Now we're at 100% war score. We'll accept that offer and let us sue for peace. So with Olbia, I am going to take your stuff. Probably. Because you're my way into Scythia. That's how you pronounce that. That would be enough. Because that would be a ton of aggressive expansion. Well, yeah, I guess not too much. Hmm. Because we need to be touching Scythia to get a CB on them. All right. We are going to lower our aggressive expansion. Good war, friends. Good war. Let's look at province mode. Uh, loyalty is actually pretty high over here. Kind of surprising.
Let's let the month tick. Oh, there we go. Kill the barbarians. They are now running. We should probably chase them. Actually, they're coming back here. I guess we just kind of stay put and murder them again. What is this? <gasps> Thrace plans to break their alliance with me? You fight in one war with me and you break your alliance. To be fair, I did not assist in that at all. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that Thrace got that. I was not paying close enough attention to that peace seal. Interesting. Okay. 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 <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Get wild game, I guess. Oh, that'd be from ourselves, though. Do we have grain? We do have grain. Get fish. Ha! Huh. That was a mistake. How are you feeling about me? Not too happy. We'll get too many relations. Oh. That's not going to be possible then. Well, this is a little bit of a predicament we got here. Hmm. Down there. Call to arms from Thrace. For a tiny war, I will accept. No reason to break our reliance out of, um, for this war. So, did you drop? You went in there as well? Oh, never mind. So, hopefully they will actually take these territories this time. Because we've already been in one war against these two factions. Oh my god, my manpower. Jeez. We'll send you south. And you will go over here. Yes! Fantastic. Let's ship you over there. You can stay there, that's fine. Hopefully you at some point get more armies. More cohorts. Wait a minute. This wasn't the... Did this change because... I made you- I made you the general of this. You used to be... Uh... Okay. We'll see just down for you. Die from natural causes, he was the wise one. Go back there. All right, wise one. Ugh. Okay. She's not gonna last too long either. Army maintenance costs would go down. Yes. I accept. Did we end, end up ever having to pay for that fortress? There it is. Wait, wait, wait. That may be just because we got more territory. Like right there. Do I do I want this here? 
In a war against the East, this would prevent people... Well, but the people can just go around, though. That's the problem here. With all this land, they can just go... And just go around. So, having a fortress here, I don't think matters. Right? And then the only other fortress would be... This one. Oh, I guess we have one here, too. Wait, no, we don't. That's because it's, it's the capital, that's why. So yeah, it does look like we had to eventually pay for this. I'm okay with that. Ever-changing council. We would lose 100 oratory power. The Getia Institute's open hearings. Number of clan chiefs plus one. Another one? Hold on. You get five clan chiefs? I think that's one of these rules over here, isn't it? That we're changing? Institutes open hearings. Are any of these called open hearings? Open hearings, yeah. So right now we have expanded council, which gives us max friends. So this is basically a free... Well, we don't have to spend oratory power on it, other than just the, the hundred. So it is a cheaper change to get another clan chief. I think I'm okay with this. Because our number of friends is fine right now, right? I guess probably should have checked before, but I believe we're, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Go see chat down, please. So now, what other clan chiefs do we have? Five clan chiefs. So we got the Ramoxla family, the Pipor family, which used to be the lead family. Dromichata, which has been around for a while, Natapora, and then the Zinica. Current person. Alright. Got our vassal coming. Ooh. Omen. Okay. I I like to keep the aggressive expansion down. We're not making too much money. Oh god, what do we let me take a look at our promise map mode. So our loyalty is starting to go down here and here. Unrest is rather high because we jump from one war into another. So our war exhaustion is going up. Oh boy. What to do? Tax is 10.7, so the national tax would increase our money by a little bit. The commerce would be slightly more. It's tough. I know I want to do more wars, so like aggressive expansion trying to keep that down as much as possible I think is very important. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I want like all of these things. I think I'm just gonna stick with the aggressive expansion. All right, and we may need to add some troops to the local power here, assigned to region. There we go. So you're fine. You are not. Throw you down here. Time for another invention. Wrong culture happiness group, or wrong culture group happiness. This, I think, is better. Wrong culture instead of wrong culture group right now. How's this going? Going fine. So look at that 9k sitting over here. Do we even need them over here anymore? Unhappy pops plus 2.28. Well, I mean the war period is helping out a lot. That will eventually end. 
We'll just leave him there, it's fine. We'll siege this down, and then what do we do after that? I guess it's Scythia. But, Thrace is also planning to break their alliance with us. Which is weird, because they even like us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This would remove our national tribesman happiness. It would lower it by, okay, yeah, we've had this before. This is fine. Basically lowers our tribal happiness by 5%, but we get money for it. And our tribal people are already pretty happy. Anyway, we're no longer importing wood. Well then, how about we import, oh, it'll only be from ourselves. Mm, fish then? Fish it is. So that's going to be pretty easy to take. I wonder if it just said that they were going to break their alliance with us because of that insult, but since it's bleeding off. Dishonored Alliance is still there? Uh, Orisa Zinnikas led his men to glorious victory during the Siege of Istros. Oh, this is a looting thing. Well, we're not going to be taking this city. So... None shall hide. I'm not taking it. So, <laughs> why not? Let's get as much money as we can. And then I guess the war is over? Yeah, war is over. They did not take that city again. What the heck is going on? Mother... <sighs> March up. Increase their opinion of us to 125 to try and make them stay. I don't think that's going to happen. And they have Odrysia as a tribal vassal, which means they do not need to fight in their wars. In alliance with Drabalia. I think it looks like we're going to be fighting against Thrace. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. Well, at least we got a new clan chief to raise up more retinues for us. We need to take a uh, defensive posture here. So reinforcements get there. This is fine. That's totally fine. We got a lot of archers. Please hold the line. Hold that line. We'll lose 200. Getia gains funded arbiter. Arbitrator, sorry. Okay, for five years, Freeman happiness goes up, convert pop cost goes down. But for 200 gold? Uh, yeah, we'll take this. So, Freeman happiness, convert pop cost goes down. Please get there, please get there, please get there, please get there. Please get there. Please get there! Uh -huh. We've got to be able to win this. Okay. Well, that's going to impact our manpower to get that back. But now we can convert some more pops. Which we probably want to do. We don't have too much oratory power. But I believe that the next war we're going to fight is most likely going to be th Thrace. Hmm. 
Wait, was that Convert Pops? Or... Hold on. Oh, it's Convert Pops. Not... Not Change Their Pops. I was thinking of... Uh, I was thinking of the Assimilate Pops, maybe? Or is it Converting? No, Assimilating. One free make first to get to in. Promoting! That's it! Jeez. Promoting the slit, the, the units. Speaking about converting those, since it is cheaper, we got a lot of omen power. Why not? Be converted. Oh god. Okay, did not realize exactly how many people did not pro Alright, so it would actually be a better thing to probably change this to religious conversion. The local unrest does go, go up by one. Let's take a look at the... Yeah... Hellenic... Hepdotic? Hmm... So yeah, we, we probably want to change that. Because they're going to be very unhappy with us. So we're going to incur some tyranny here. We will first convert their culture. And this was another one of them, right? Yeah, Boss Porin. So cultural assimilation. We beat them there. Alright, so there we go. We killed them. Let's put you here. Put you there. How many slaves do we have? I guess we can look over here. Slave is only 13% of our population. So they're not going to give us too much, but out of all of these, I think I'd rather have the national slave output. Grab that. And we're going to need a bigger garrison force here. Actually, we didn't even assign these yet. There we go. That could be why. Let's see. Disloyal. They are climbing. It's very slow, but they are climbing. Thrace has broke off their alliance with us. Hmm. Well... You over there. Hopefully your population is still... Yeah, that's still fine. Uh, looking at the province loyalty here. But you're pulling for my manpower, aren't you? There's no manpower loss to attrition, but we do need 5,000 troops. Oh my god. See, that's what I'm talking about. The manpower is so big. Can we just disband? Well, no, I probably shouldn't disband them. All right. We are making 5.10. That's not too bad. Tyranny should bleed off pretty soon. Aggressive expansion is there. Can I beat Thrace? Maybe we should go to war with Thrace um, since Saldincia is still my ally, which they may not be my ally for long. So we should probably get this popping. Because, yeah, right now Saldincia... Oh... The Seleucid Empire, Seleucid Empire, is guaranteeing you and you are allied with Egypt? Wait, what? Both Egypt and the... Oh my god. Okay, so we cannot declare war on Thrace. Huh. 
Huh. You're currently fighting in a civil war. I'm afraid to declare a war, because then what if Thrace declares on us? But like, this is a perfect time to get uh, Scythia. Because they're currently in a revolt. So, decisions, decisions. I, I think we gotta go. Right? There's no guarantee that they will declare war on me. They just broke their alliance with me. And we have to maximize our advantage with... She was the governor of the Sarmatia Europia. Perfect. Congratulations. She was not the head of the chief though, right? No. That sucks that Egypt and the Seleucids are guaranteeing Thrace. I can't take those. But I can fabricate a claim against you. So we move up our armies that way. You move up there. And do we just declare war right now? Yeah, why not? None of these people are super strong, are they? Ooh, you got 15. You've only got four. Here's the other one. You've got 24. Interesting. Interesting. I still think it's the best time to go, though, because Scythia themselves only have nine, and they're currently in a civil war. And also, these people are in a civil war. Or the Legay Revolt. Not so as a war with the Legay Revolt. They will be fighting each other until the peace has been signed. Yeah, so you're in a civil war as well. Against these? No. Hold on. Oh, you're fighting against these. Okay. You're fighting against those. You're not fighting against anybody. Your technology level, though. Nice. We still have more cohorts than all of them. We may need to pull up some troops from here if needed. Oh man, but our manpower, we really need more manpower. <sighs> you know what, screw it. Let's do it, Saldencia's on our side. We can't lose. We got our vassals, it's fine. They do have ships though. So I decided to declare the war before all of our armies were in place because we're going to need to wait for our allies to get there anyway. Well, that's a poor time. Where was the army you were Was it this one? Because we just lost one of our head of their families, right? Maybe not? Because... I guess not. We just lost the governor. Okay. What are you? Local population growth is increased if governor. Like it. Love it. Let's do it.
So these are the people that we will pull in in case we get like a oh shit moment. I forgot to change all your tactics, by the way. Bottleneck? Sure. 90% fit. Okay, yes. I accept. The rabbit, huh? Because you're mostly light cab and then heavy infantry. Let's do the phalanx. And then, I guess, bottleneck. Okay. Press forward, troops! Their troops are too busy with the revolts. Ooh, you know what? We should probably go for their capital. Although the war goal is... Uh, I believe this province here, so we should take that first. Invention. Hmm? Hmm. I guess accepted rights. Happiness is a good thing. Alright, and we'll move you up in case we need to march you. We'll also put these troops over there, just so that they are closer in case we need to use them for the war instead of garrison. Hello! We will gain 100 religious power. Ooh. Loses 40 loyalty. What? Okay. Sure. I'm okay with this. All right, so now, after we take this province, which we have, now we want to try and take the capital before they come back. Start marching down that way. I'm sure pretty soon we're gonna be seeing their allies' armies coming at us. And it's going to be scary. Okay, that's good news. It's not a level 2 fortress. Oh no, it is a level 2 fortress. Why can't we take it then? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The revolt is here to trying to take it. So since they started it, this will probably go to the revolt, not to us. Oh no 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 no. Nope. Nope. I guess you can take that at least. But no, that would be bad. We could take this though. Actually, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take these guys. That's what we'll do. We'll take their capital. Or are they not in this war? Hold on. No, yeah, they are. A religious proceeding. We would lose a stability. National unrest plus three? For ten years? Omen power and duration would go up. So, the thing is, the duration and the power go down by 15%, but for 10 years, we're basically getting a free omen. I can't see it right here, but if we were to grab the unrest omen, I think it would actually be less than three. So we're getting power, we're getting more than a free omen at the cost of our second omen, quote unquote, being slightly weaker. And she loses some loyalty. I think this is better. 100%, I think that's better. Oh, because you're blocking my way. Hmm. 
I don't want to help the revolt take that. Volt is kicking their ass. And I'm sure if we take it, it's just going to go to them. But if we don't take it, we don't have any ships to transport, so we can't take them. If we get military access through the revolt, we could go down into... Hmm. Interesting. If we take this, then we can maybe get... Okay. Okay. Help them take it. We can take it from them later. After we take Scyth uh, Scythia, then we can take... The oh, never mind. They don't even need our help anymore. They got it. They moved the troops down there. Whoa! Okay. Hold, hold up. So they're fighting at envelopment. Luckily, we had those revolt soldiers on our side, I think. All right, then. I will take that. Exiled army. Oh, shit. Brassus Tisericus was the researcher. Hold up. Whew. 16 years old with an 11 oratory. Uh, yeah. So as the revolt takes territories, they gain those automatically. Which is what is happening here. That's why we got black flagged. Yeah, this is very odd, actually. Going to war during a revolt where the revolt is winning. Doesn't really leave us much to take. At all. But it will get us some territory. Like, we probably will be able to get this, maybe? Sacrifice to the gods minus 5%. We are at stability. Oh, we're still at stability 3, though. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we'll eventually want a lot of these. Uh, I think I'm going to stack our civic points right now and save for the next levels. So they're about to flip this. Hmm. Well, when they do, we can then start pouring into here, at the very least. Also, you two are just currently attritioning yourselves to death. Oh, I didn't even notice we can do this. That's neat. Let's have you start marching down. Take this quickly, please, because then I can sweep in and take this. There we go. Jeez. General of the Second War Host and family friend of the Clan Chief. He was the head of the Muscosi family. So now the Muscozi need a new job. Was he the one leading this one? Yeah, he was. Okay. So where is the Muscozi? Muscosus? There we go. So now you get to do what the other person did. Take this. Before they do. Nope, click on the army! 
Gosh darn it! I'm not gonna get anything out of this. Can I just separate piece you guys? Until 36 months have passed. Okay. So we're not quite there yet. What an odd war. Son of a... Did they get it or did we get it? I think we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Um... So, the revolt is over and now there's a new Scythia. Scythia. So now I'm just at war with their allies. And it reset our... Okay. 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 Can I get, and I I can't I'm not going to be able to hmm. Well, this is awkward. So what do I what's like even the There's no wargle. There's no war goal whatsoever. So now I think we basically are going to have to wait for a piece. Like a white piece. Huh, that really sucked. We spent our power to get the... Oh, we don't come back from Black Flag from right here. Oh, nuts. Okay. Okay. Well, that is very awkward. What the heck am I going to do? Warrior's Honor. The Red New Gain is inspired, which gives them more discipline. Loyalty gain chances increased for 20 years. That's fine. Let them be inspired. Because you are still at war with them as well. What a weird situation we got here. This was just all sorts of bad. All sorts of bad. Oh my god. Like, what happens when we take this capital? Can I piece them out? Whoa! We're losing 600 people per month? Oh, because you're marching through there. God, attrition. Uh, so like, now we wanna... So now we wanna peace out with them and go to war against like the new Scythia. And we're probably gonna lose this fight here just as we're about to take it. Oh my God. Beat them. Oh, they got the superior military general. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. I think we're about to collapse here, though. Yep, we're starting to lose them all. I'm kind of surprised we fell out this well. I mean, look at their discipline. 116%. They have more troops than us. They have a better military commander. Guess we just got some decent rolls, though. Oh man, they just roll a three with a three. What the heck? Oh no, don't roll a zero. No! So 
So like, who is the... Just, we can't get a white piece. So now I'm in this useless war, and they just wiped the rest of our armies there. Are those clan chiefs dead? Mm, no? I guess I'll just pop up somewhere else? Okay. Well, now we gotta wait for this war to end. That's been doing nothing for us. We are at zero aggressive expansion. Oh, this sucked. This really sucked. You're guaranteeing two different nations? Listen, buddy, I, I really just wanna make peace. There is no war goal, there's no reason to fight this. Uh, well, you know, friends, let's end this episode here. Let's move you up here, get you back in the fight. What a, what a, what a, what a, what We gave some of the territory to Thrace earlier, and now this was just a cluster. Just a, just a big old mess that did absolutely nothing for us. Oh, God. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next episode, everybody. Thank you. Bye.